Hi everyone, Rob, the Average Lawn Guy. Thanks for tuning in. So this is going to be a super quick video this week, and I'm going to show you some footage that I've done to my lawn. You see, I have spots in my lawn where my dog likes to dig up. She likes to dig holes, and I have about two or three urine spots I wanted to spot treat. So this is a Bermuda Lawn Spot Repair video. What you need is play sand and a mixture of pot and soil. You can use any soil you want, but any soil that has less debris in it, such as the little sticks in it. I try to avoid topsoil just because topsoil has debris like sticks and a little bit of stones in it, so I try to avoid that. So you can see in this video, I have some holes I need to fill in. Normally I find the best way to fill them in is to use about 50% sand and 50% potting soil. So what I do is normally make sure there's no debris on the spots I want to treat. I kind of scrape up the debris if there's dead grass. What I do is fill up the holes with a handful of play sand and then a handful of potting soil. I keep alternating that until the hole is filled and it's leveled. So I kind of use my fingers to kind of mix them in. Before I do that, I typically take a screwdriver and poke several holes in the area. This will help the potting soil and the sand kind of dig in and stay in place. So first thing I do is poke some holes in the ground next thing handful of play sand and then a handful of potting soil I mix them in and I keep alternating until the holes filled in so once that's filled in the next thing I do is kind of take my hand and pat it down make sure it's level I'm eyeballing it so it's not perfectly level but you can take the back of a rake and level it some more next thing I do is take just a pinch of fertilizer and sprinkle just a little bit towards the middle and a little bit towards the edges of the repair spots. What's that going to do is allow the stolons, which is the above ground stems of the Bermuda grass to kind of fill in over time and it will fill in very quickly. So after I apply that fertilizer, I lightly water this in with a little mist setting on the hose. Now you may have some settling, so you want to pay attention to that and kind of backfill those in over time. But what you're going to notice is this repair is going to fill in very quickly because you applied a little bit of fertilizer. And the good thing about using potting soil is that potting soil already has a pinch of fertilizer in it. So that's going to help the grass kind of reach in and fill those spots. Regarding those burn-in spots from the dog urine, again, I'm going to scratch the surface, get rid of any dead material, and just use the potting soil to just fill in. Again, that's going to allow the stolons to kind of reach over and fill those spots in very quickly. Again, I apply the potting soil, just a light layer, and then use a pinch of fertilizer in the middle. Lightly water it in, and that's about it. So this is what a spot repair looks like when you're done. This was a hole roughly about two inches deep that my dog decided to dig. Here's another one. And here's one more. Again, the fertilizer was right in the middle, somewhere around here. And over time, this is going to reach in. This video is a day later. Again, with bare spots, this was not a hole. This was actually a urine burn spot. I kind of scraped away the dead material and put a top layer of potting soil mixture. Kind of make sure it flattens down and watch out for settling. If it settles, just reapply. And over time, the grass blades, the stolons will just fill in. It's gonna fill in very fast. Now normally I avoid using just pure sand to fill in deep holes. And the reason why is because sand retains heat. And what happens when you walk on the beach and the sun is beaming down 90, 95 degrees, you could barely walk on the beach barefooted for any longer than 30 seconds before your feet start to burn. It's the same thing with the turf. As the summer heat kicks in, if you use pure sand, what's going to happen, the turf is going to get really hot and burn your turf. So you want to avoid using just pure sand to fill deep holes. Now using sand to kind of level is a different story. I'm talking about filling holes. So again, when you want to fill in holes, you want to use 50% sand and about 50% soil, potting soil mix. I find that much more effective in filling the holes 
and providing you with Bermuda's spot law and repair. I hope you found this video useful and tune to these videos right here for more tips on lawn care. With that, thanks for watching. Take care.